Okay, so dimensional analysis or unit conversion is probably something that you've actually been doing since middle school and just never thought about it, um, especially if you were doing things like how many cups in a gallon or how many inches in a yard, things like that. Okay, so you've already been doing the unit conversions that we'll be doing in this. Um, dimensional analysis is a way that we solve problems and kind of organize what it is that we're trying to start at and to what we're trying to end to. So there's a couple things that you absolutely have to know before we start doing uh, dimensional analysis. And that is there are some conversion factors that you have to have memorized. There are some that'll be given to you, but most of the basic ones for um, what we call standard in the United States and for the metric ones that they use everywhere else, there are things that you need to uh, have memorized. So that's something you're definitely going to want to practice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put these together so that you can remember uh, which ones go with what. 365 days is one year. And we use 365 even though every four years there's an extra day. It's still a standard 365 days a year. Okay, so three feet is one yard. Okay, and 60 minutes is one hour. All right, and 60 seconds is one minute. And 24 hours is one day. Uh, notice that I did not say anything about weeks or months when we're doing unit conversions because those are not actually the most accurate. Um, if you've ever thought about it, I know they say there's 52 weeks in a year, but 52 times seven is 364. So it's actually a day off. Um, so it's not exactly 52 weeks. It's sort of like saying 3.14 is pi. That's what we rounded off to. Okay, so let's see, 5,280 feet is one mile. That is definitely something you're going to have to memorize if you didn't already know that. Uh, 12 inches is one foot. One meter is 100 centimeters. And 1,000 meters is one kilometer. Now, I didn't say anything about having to know how many kilometers in a mile or how many miles in a kilometer. Those are conversion rates that will be given to you. But the basic standard ones, um, again, should be stuff that you were learning fifth, fifth grade, sixth grade. I know when way back when in the dinosaur time when I was working with middle school, uh, I think they were doing um, metric in eighth grade. So if that's still the case, great. If not, should have seen this somewhere. Um, if you need extra help with this, let me know because we can come up with a chart for you specifically for the metric. Um, and it's again, it's one that you've probably actually seen and I actually go through the whole label of it to remember how to write it. Uh, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So I've actually, I still have to actually state that in order to be able to write it out, but it is, you know, kilo, hecto, deca, your base value, deci, centi, milli, and it's, it's basically how to go back and forth on your metric units because it's all just tens. Um, so again, if you need uh, some extra help, we will go through that. But these are all ones that you really do need to have memorized. Okay, so that being said, um, Dimensional analysis is, is nothing more than converting units. Uh, the biggest thing is that you have to identify what you're starting with. So this is going to be your starting information and what you're being asked to find. Okay, that's going to be your ending units, whatever they're asking you to convert to. Okay, so you need to line up your conversion factors. Uh, basically, what you're going to end up doing is writing a bunch of fractions next to each other. Okay. Um, whenever you're doing units, that's, that's just how you do it is, is how you write the actual unit is in fraction form. Okay. So you're going to have a bunch of fractions and basically all you're really doing is just multiplying. Okay. So the thing that you need to understand is that when you're lining them up, okay, your matching dimensions, right? The pieces that match need to be diagonal. Okay. Um, if you remember anything about 
when you're multiplying fractions, let's say that I had one half times uh, two over seven. Okay. Um, if, if you were taught this as like, you know, the shortcut so that you could simplify it before you actually multiplied, if you had matching pieces that were on the diagonal, you could, you know, cancel them out. So it ended up being just, you know, one times one over one times seven. Okay. So we're doing that for a reason. We want our matching pieces to be on the diagonal, right? From the bottom of one to the top of the next or, you know, whichever, so that they will cancel because what we should end up with, right? is just the units we're being asked to find. And again, this, this will make more sense when I, once I show you a problem, but you're, you're multiplying fractions. So we really want those diagonals to cancel so that all we have left when we're done is the units we're asked to find. Okay, so we're gonna you know, practice making sure you know how to line them up. Um, and you know how to multiply fractions. When you multiply fractions, you multiply all the tops, you multiply all the bottoms, and then you just basically are going to reduce your answer um, because you are looking for a unit rate, basically. So unit rate as a reminder, if I told you that you could buy five apples for $2 and I asked you for a unit rate, five apples for $2 would mean one apple for 40 cents, right? You're looking for basically to reduce one of your um, dimensions down to one. Okay, so and again, it'll make more sense when we start actually working through it, but these are the steps and this is, you know, very, very important as far as how to line them up. All right, so let's go ahead and go through it so it makes a little bit more sense to you. All right, so 221,760 uh, inches to miles, okay? So this is what I have been given right? And I'm, I'm writing it as a fraction, like I'm supposed to 221,760 inches. And that is a question mark in case you were wondering what in the world that was, that is a question mark. Um, we are trying to figure out how many miles that is. Okay. So when we are done, right, we should basically have miles as my ending piece. Okay. So boop and miles, since that's what I'm being asked to look for, right? So whatever I end up with, all the rest of my conversions should cancel and I should not have any inches or any other measurement unit left except miles. Okay. And remember these fractions are just, they're being multiplied. That's all they're doing. Okay. So we're trying to go from inches to miles. We cannot go there in one step right? So we have to convert it in a couple of steps. So the easiest thing for me, if I'm going from inches, the next step would be feet, right? Because that seems logical to go from inches to feet. So you put the conversion one foot is 12 inches. And the reason I'm writing the inches on the bottom again, is that multiplication rule where we can cancel out our um, matching diagonals, right? Where they're the, the, uh, yeah, the units are matching. So my inches will now be gone, right? If I'm, if I were to just to multiply these two fractions right now, I would figure out how many inches, 2, 221,760 inches is. I would, I would figure out how many feet it is rather. Okay. So just multiplying by this one fraction, I would have it down to feet. Okay. So I can go from feet to miles. There is a conversion for that. It was on the first page. Um, if you remember what it was, it is that 5,280 feet equals one mile. Now take a look as far as what's going to end up happening if I multiply this, ignoring the numbers for right now, the inches are going to cancel. That unit is gone, right? The feet are going to cancel because they're diagonal, they're gone. All I have left as far as an actual um, unit measurement, you know, a label for it is miles. So my answer is going to be in miles the, exactly the way I want it. So all I have to do now is multiply two, two, one, seven, six, zero times one times one again, that's the top. And on the bottom, you're multiplying 12 times 5,280. Okay, so you multiply those out. 
And then you're going to divide at the end to see what the unit rate is going to be. Let me grab my calculator real quick. All right, so 12 times 80 is 63,360. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this in. And I'm going to do this as a division. Remember, fractions rep represent a division. So 221,760 divided by 63,360. And I should get 3.5, and don't forget your unit when you're done, 3.5 miles. So we now know that 221,760 inches is 3.5 miles. Okay, so again, think about the steps. Your starting unit was inches, your ending unit is miles, everything in between is just fractions with the diagonals set up to where your units will cancel. Multiply the top, multiply the bottom, divide at the end. That's it, just to get it down to a unit rate. All right, so let's try another. Okay, so again, we're going from seven days is how many seconds? And again, it's just a question mark so that I can actually, you know, set up my fraction. So my answer needs to end in how many seconds, right? That's what I have to end with. Okay, so I have to go from day to my next step. Whatever my next step is on my way to seconds, the one that would make most sense is to go from days to hours, right? So I have to put one day here, Again, so my units cancel. And one day is, okay, one, one day is 24 hours. All right. So then again, we're still trying to go towards seconds. We haven't made it there yet. Now we've just gotten to hours. So I have to find a conversion rate for hours. Again, it was on the first page, one hour, hours. One hour is 60 minutes, All right? And again, now my hours will cancel because they're on the diagonal. Okay, so now I need to go from minutes. Ah, I can go ahead and get from minutes to seconds. So one minute equals 60 seconds, okay? So go back and check, make sure your conversion rates go. So days is gone, hours is gone, Minutes is gone. The only unit of measure that I have left is seconds. So all I'm going to do is just multiply it out. So 7 times 24 times 60 times 60 over 1 times 1 times 1. Again, grab your calculator. You should have gotten 604,800 seconds. And again, please make sure that you are putting your unit on there. Very, very important. Okay. So let's try a slightly harder one. And then we're going to get into what we call double conversions, which is really pretty cool as far as solving problems because it's things like going from miles per hour to feet per second, which is, you know, something very important It's used in actually a lot of different jobs. All right. So we're going to go from 4.2 kilometers, km is kilometers, to however many centimeters that is going to be. Again, that's just a question mark. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got. Okay. So we need to end with centimeters. All right. So... I know I'm going to need to figure out something as far as how much one kilometer is. So this is where we use that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, which is all your uh, metric system step downs. And we also have this on the first page. So one kilometer is 1000 meters. Okay. So we've got one step down and then, so your kilometers will cancel. And so now I need to get rid of my meters and one meter, if you remember, is 100 centimeters. So from the first page as well. Again, take a look, make sure your units are canceling. There's kilometers, 
there's meters. All I have left is centimeters, so it works. So I need to multiply 4.2 times 1,000 times 100. And on the bottom, it's just 1 times 1. All right, so let's multiply it out. And you should get 420,000 centimeters. Okay, so let's take it a step up and start doing some double conversions. Okay, so 15 miles per hour into feet per second. Okay, so I know my ending piece has to be feet per second, right? And the way it's read to you is the way you need to write it top to bottom. Okay, so miles per hour to feet per second. Okay, so that means we are going to have to convert miles to feet and hours to second. Now, we're not going to do it all at one time. We are going to do this a fraction at a time. Okay, so let's start with miles and get it down to feet. All right, so I know that one mile is 5,280 feet. So that's done. I've already in feet. I'm good to go. Okay. And miles is going to cancel. So I have feet left. So now let's go to the time. All right. So this is where it gets a little bit different because now we're talking about a double conversion. I need to convert hours down to seconds. Notice that hour is on the bottom. So to cancel out one hour, I have to put that on the top now for the diagonal and one hour equals 60 minutes, right? Notice there's a difference now because I do have two different units that I'm working with and I still need them to cancel. So now hours is gone and I'm down to minutes, but I gotta go down one more step to get it to seconds. So same deal, minutes is on the bottom here. So I have to put it on the top on the next fraction to get it to cancel and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Okay, check your units. Miles is gone. Okay, um, hours is gone and minutes is gone. And the only two units that I should have left are feet per second. Okay, so multiply out the top. 15 times 5280 times 1 times 1. All over 1 times 1 times 60 times 60. And I'm just writing out basically our coefficients that are in front of our units. And I'm going to write out the original fraction before I divide. So make sure you're following the steps. Okay, so the top is 79200. Zero, zero, and the bottom is 3,600. Now I'm going to divide 79,200 79, divided by 3,600 is 22 feet for one second. So if your car is driving even 15 miles an hour, pretty slow, right? You're going 22 feet every second. So think about it, count one 1,000, and you've already gone pretty much across my entire classroom, because my classroom's like 20 feet across. So it's pretty quick, even at 15 miles per hour. All right, so let's try a couple more. Make sure that you're comfortable with this. All right, so we've got five milliliters, that is a milliliter per second, to liters per hour. Now, very, very important in science because most science, even in the United States, uses the metric and they're trying to figure out um, how much this is. Believe it or not, nurses actually use this when they're trying to figure out how much is going in your IV. And so for anybody who is you know, interested uh, or thinks they might want to be a nurse, they have something in nursing school that does nothing but unit, uh, unit conversions. And it's a whole class. And I think it's called like dosage calculations. So this is something that you are definitely going to have to know. All right. So five milliliters per second to liters per hour. Okay. So we need to end up with liters per hour. So let's go ahead and go from milliliters to liters first, and then we'll go from seconds to hours to make sure we're good to go. So 
milliliters needs to cancel. So that means I need to have some measure that is milliliters to convert to liters. Now, milli means thousand, right? So it is actually 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. Okay. All right. So that means my milliliters is gone and I'm at liters, which is good. All right. So let's try the next one. So I need to go from seconds to hours. So same deal. The seconds is on the bottom here. It needs to be on the top here. So 60 seconds equals one minute, right? So second, seconds is canceled and I need to cancel my minute. So 60 minutes equals one hour. Okay. Go back, cancel out your units. Seconds, minutes, milliliters. Yep, the only thing left is liters per hour. And that is how it has to go. The liter has to be on top, the hour has to be on the bottom. All right, multiply it out. Five times one times 60 times 60, all over one times a thousand times one times one. Again, show your work, make sure you're multiplying out the top and the bottom. Okay, so the top is 18,000 and the bottom is 1,000. So the answer is 18 liters per one hour. It's a lot. That is a lot. 18 liters per one hour. Think about it. Your favorite sodas come in those two liter bottles. That's like nine of those bottles in an hour. That's a lot. Okay. All right, last, I think, which one are we going to do last? Miles per hour to meters per second. Yes, miles per hour to meters per second. Okay, so now we're actually going across from standard, which for us is miles, to meters, which is what everybody else uses. So in this case, you have to actually be given um, a unit conversion that lets you go from standard to metric. Okay, and that's the only case where you're ever going to um, get a conversion unit. Like I said, the rest of them all have to be memorized. Okay. So one mile is 1.60934 kilometers. All right. So, okay. So that's, all right. So my answer when I am done, let me see if I can squish this over just a little bit so I can make room for the answer at the end. All right, so my answer needs to be in meters per seconds, okay? So I'm going to go from miles to kilometers first so that I can get it down to meters. Okay, so miles is on top to start with. So I put my first conversion, one mile is 1.60934 kilometers, okay? And then I can go from, again, I'm on the top. Meters needs to stay on the top. So I need to get rid of the kilometers. So one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, right? Because kilo is also 1,000. 1,000 meters. There we go. So now I'm, I'm down to meters. So that's good. So now I need to go from hours to seconds, right? And I need to stay on the bottom as far as what I'm keeping. So one hour, okay, one hour equals 60 minutes, right? Now my hours is gone. And then I need to go from one minute equals 60 seconds. Okay. I know it's a lot. Again, we're going to practice, make sure you've got it. So check your units, make sure they're all gone. Miles is gone. Kilometers is gone. Hours is gone. Minutes is gone. I'm left with meters and seconds, which is exactly what I need. So we're just going to multiply it out. Okay, 65 times 1.60934 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. And on the bottom, 1 times 1 times 1 times 60 times 60. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so on the top, I've got 109872.1. And on the bottom, I've got 3600.
Okay, and on the bottom I've got 3,600. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just divide. Okay, so what you should get is, we're gonna go ahead and round it, 30.5 meters for one second. Okay, again, pretty fast, 65 miles an hour is pretty fast speed. And 30.5 meters is a pretty good distance to go in one second. Okay, so that is it. Go ahead and start on the practice for this. And again, if you need me help, let me know.